What's good guys, Vicky here. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I want to show you guys how to make gummy bears, but low calorie ones. They're like less than a calorie per gummy and they got a little bit of protein in them. I'm not saying they're a significant source of protein, but they do have a little bit of protein in them, seeing as gelatin is one of the ingredients and the main macro or the only macronutrient in gelatin is protein. There's no carbs, there's no fat. But there's only minimal amount of protein, so you can't just like assume you're gonna get your most of your protein from these gummies. If you guys like this kind of content for me, drop a like, and yeah, let's get into this. Uh, if, if you kind of like food content, I haven't really done food content in a while, honestly, on my channel because I've been doing the 75 hard challenge. So I've just been recording every couple days for the 75 hard challenge, but I want to get back into making a little bit of food content, a little bit of other content, like just a little mix of fitness and food and lifestyle and just some vlogs and just some fun stuff so if you guys enjoy that kind of stuff just consider subscribing to my channel and yeah let's get into this food video I guess we're gonna make some gummy bears let's go to the kitchen so I'm gonna be using silicone molds for these but if you don't have them not to worry you can use something like a bowl or not a bowl but like a baking dish or something so glass one or metal or whatever silicone works good too one of these just uh, then you can just cut it into cubes and then you can just make gummy squares. But I'm gonna be using these molds with the dropper thing. Put them onto like a cookie sheet or something flat surface. Cause you wanna put, when you wanna put them in the fridge, you want them to be even and you don't wanna like, all the gelatin just fill out right. Ingredients you're gonna need, some kind of gelatin and zero or like five calorie or zero calorie flavored drink packets. You can also use something like EAAs or pre-workout if you want to because I was actually thinking about using these EAAs but uh, I'm not going to right now. I'm going to use the drink mixes. First thing you want to do is get some kind of jar. You always weigh out 150 grams of water. Then you want to put it in the microwave until it's boiling. I found 90 seconds works best. Then you want to take a tablespoon and a half of gelatin, which is about one and a half of these packets because it says one of these packets is a tablespoon, so one and a half of these packets you want to use. But if you just have actual gelatin powder in an actual, in a like, bulk bag, you just want to use a tablespoon and a half. But we're going to wait for this water to boil. And you want to pick your whatever drink mix you want to use. I think I'm going to go with strawberry for this. I'm going to go with strawberry for this. I love strawberry flavored stuff. What you want to do is put your flavored drink package in it. Should have used a smaller jar where I could actually reach. Um... Okay, now you want to put it in a bowl. Honestly, you want to weigh out your gelatin, or like put your or weigh out your gelatin. Yeah, but you want to put it in um, a separate bowl because trying to put it over boiling liquid just kind of doesn't work the best. And I want to use one and a half tablespoons, so we're gonna put one and a half packets in here. Figure, see how much is a half of these. That's about a half, maybe a little bit more. You wanna take your gelatin and pour it in and just mix it up. And fill each of our molds. I thought I was gonna need all the molds, but I actually just needed these two because that's all it filled up, but it filled it up like perfectly. I only had a tiny bit left over. Uh, I just wanna show you guys what I was talking about earlier. Zero grams of carbs, zero grams of fat, two grams of protein. I'll see if that focuses. Protein is the only macronutrient in this. However, it is not a significant source. So yeah, I don't recommend getting your protein intake from purely gummy bears. 
but they are super low calories considering that the only calories are coming from a little bit of there's five calories for a quarter of a packet so there's about 30 calories in this whole thing with the gelatin and there's five calories in the drink mix so there's 35 calories all together in this whole recipe and there's about I don't even know how many gummies that it's gonna make but it only makes it like literally like less than a calorie per gummy so it's pretty dope if you ask me and now we just put them in the fridge if I made had room in the fridge maybe but yeah here we go Now we wait one hour, or like at least an hour. It could be more than that for it to settle or to set, but yeah, wait at least an hour and I'll catch you guys in one hour. hope you guys enjoyed watching this video if you did drop a like if you can if you want to support me and yeah i just hope you guys are all doing great wherever you're at and if you come if you make this comment below and let me know if you made it how they turned out and any ways you think you can improve on it or any other tips or tricks for them but yeah i'll catch you guys in my next video